25. Let's go ahead and get all right, guys. Happy New Year. Our very first team meeting of 2024. I'm coming to you guys well rested, very, very sore from uh, tons and tons of walking and hiking yesterday, but I'm feeling excited about the new year. Before we get rolling, if we have any guests on the line that you'd like to introduce or if it's your first time at a team meeting, I want to give you the mic for an opportunity. Any guests, any first timers? All right, cool. Let's do this, you guys. I want to hear from three people really quick. We obviously had some challenges in 2023. We also had a lot of triumphs in 2023. And I believe that the word for 2024 needs to be amplified. This is an opportunity for us to amplify our skills, our relationships, our activity, our social media presence, all things amplification. And so I wanted to ask three people on the call today, what was one of the biggest lessons that you learned about yourself or learned in 2023? So I just want to go around the room here from three people as we start out the meeting today. I want to go Dan Sundberg. I'm going to go Ophelia. And then I'll go Aaron Chris, just because they're on my screen. They're right here. Dan Sundberg, whether it's personal or professional, my man, what was one of the biggest lessons that you had in 2023? Oh man, on the spot. Um, I think I don't. I don't know if this is a new lesson, but just one that uh, I continue to learn as, as the years go on. It's just that consistency. I'm sure there's a, a clever way of saying this, but consistency wins out. And that, like, just being doing regular, consistent action is going to beat out like spurts of activity in the up and the in the down, and just staying on that. And I've benefited from that a lot this last year, just maybe not being the highest that I could, but just being very, very consistent. Yeah, I absolutely love that. Absolutely love that. Ophelia, let's hear from you. One big lesson from lesson from 2023. I appreciate you sharing, Dan. Yeah, uh, I'd say time management. I'm a very reactive person. I just feel like that's what fuels me, but it's not um, stable. I, I, I just, it's not sustainable. I drop things a lot. A lot of things fall in the cracks. That's totally time management. I love that. I love it. Eric Chris, let's hear from you. Um, I think mine is um, is just doing something that you want to do and not waiting. I, I, in February of last year, thought about joining real estate, and I just kept following my manager to the next place and didn't end up starting real estate until the end of the year. And I feel like if I would have just went with my first intuition and when I felt like it was time to kind of make a shift, do it then. And so um, just, you know, take an action when you kind of deep down inside feel like it's the right thing to do. And so I'm glad I made the change, though, regardless of when I did it. But doing it earlier would have been better. Love it. Love it. And, and Aaron, we're so glad to be aligned with you. Here's the thing, you guys, as you think about all the things that we're going to do in 2024, speed to execution, right? Whether or not it's the most polished product, whether or not it hits, whether or not it actually works, but speed to execution and not dragging your feet in procrastination and putting things off and indecision, right? How many of you guys spent any time in indecision in 2023? I think we're, we're all guilty of that, right? We thought about something we wanted to do, but we actually didn't take action on those things. So make this a year of like the velocity increase and that you guys are removing indecision. And if you're dragging your feet on actually doing the thing that you said that you're going to do, then maybe it's not the right thing. You just move on. So you guys, speed execution, speed, increase the velocity and amplify your skills, your habits and your action in 2024. I think that's going to be a recipe for all of our success. So tons of things to talk about. I want to go into our teaching moment of the week. So Karina, I want to turn the mic over to you to share with us our quick teaching moment of the day. All right, everybody. Um, so one of the, the tracker reminders is for home. That's the habits of me tracker that gets sent out by Judith every single week. That'll help you guys stay on track of all of your activities. And that is where Elias pulls numbers for the hustler lunch. Um, so people were asking questions about that. So be sure to enter your numbers in weekly for that. And then the other is that our team fast escrow uh, com has been updated with the 2024 tracker. So you can use it just like normal, enter in your data, um, and it should go to our 2024 list. If you're having troubles with that link, sometimes, you know, tech fails or clear cookies or whatever, there is the long tail link in our team fast exclusive posted by Laura. Um, so be sure to use that. If you're having any issues, let me know. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Appreciate you. All right, guys, before we get rolling into our slides, does anybody else have anything that they want to share? Any thoughts, any sentiment before we get the ball rolling for the meeting? Anyone wants? 
Going twice. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get rolling. I'm going to share my screen right now and let's get right into the slides of the week. All right, you guys. So obviously you'll see a new look, a new feel. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. This is not about a new year, new me. This is just working in your optimal self. We all have that choice every single day. So community contributions. Obviously we have the new year. We have tons of opportunities for you guys to throw events, host events, bring awareness, new cultural events. I, I, there's just so many things. Does anybody have anything on the calendar over the course of the next week or so that they want to share with the team, whether it's in office, whether it's an event, whether you're speaking at an event. Let's go, Ophelia. Let's hear from you uh, and let's have you started off. Okay. I have um, a home buyer planning, a business planning this Saturday at the Daily Desk or our office or shared office from 10 to noon. And I have a bunch of people coming. I have a lender. I have a credit repair specialist. So I'm hoping that we don't get a lot. I got a couple of people saying that they're getting sick. And I'm like, oh, I hope I don't have too many cancellations. But if you're around, come and support. It's in Fairfield, 490 Chad Warren Rain Road. What time again? Sorry, did I miss that? Uh, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. This Saturday, awesome. January 6th. Awesome. Make sure it's in Slack. And if you have the ability to do so, yes. drop it in the um, chat down below. Anybody else have an event, community event, community contribution that they want to speak about before we go on? George, what's up, big dog? Let's hear from you. Hey, everyone. Um, so I'm actually planning. Um, I, it'll be in the next coming week. But me and my friend, uh, we're actually reaching out to a luxury builder in Danville. where the new construction homes are $3 million and above. So we're, th we're chatting with them about putting together like a tour and a lunch for us all to go view it in the coming weeks, probably first or second week of February. And we're also going to do a partnership collaboration with my videographer and photographer about um, offering discounts for a capped number of agents to be able to do headshot and lifestyle shots at the, at the new construction place. And it's a pretty, pretty beautiful um, model that they do have. So it's a great opportunity for you to get some uh, headshots and lifestyles with a luxury background. So feel free to DM me on Instagram if you guys are interested because we're going to cap it out at probably 10 to 12 agents. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. Anybody else have an event coming up that they want to share? All right, cool. Let me get right back into my slides, you guys. We'll go here. Boom, bam. We're back in. All right, cool, you guys. Let's continue cruising. All right, let's go over to Escrow's for the last, next, last couple of weeks, excuse me, because we had Christmas. So let's get right into this. So Nicholas Guzman and Beverly Lapina got into contracts, 220 and 299. Let's see if either of them are on right now. Let's see if Nick is here and let's see if Bev is here. All right, cool. They're not here right now, but one clap to them. We're going to move on to the next category. So next up, Carlos Sandoval and Carlos Gonzalez got in contract for 487789. Carlos Sandoval, you are here. I see you on. Let's have you talk about this deal. Talk to us about the strategy, what worked, and way to close out 2023 strong. So let's hear from you, Carlos Sandoval. Go ahead and grab the mic, big dog. Hey, uh, so this was, uh, it was a sphere of influence. It was actually a client uh, previously had been looking, showed a lot of home. Uh, they were pre-approved, but they just didn't end up pulling the trigger. Ended up coming back, uh, showed them some properties out here. Um, they ended up uh, wanting something newer, so we went out to the to the valley and, and, and got something out there. Beautiful, beautiful. Congratulations to you. Congratulations working with Carlos. He's a brand new hungry agent, and so it's good to see you guys working together. So um, great stuff. Congratulations to both of you. Let's continue cruising on. All right, so KD and Bandana got in contract for six hundred eighteen thousand, and Joseph Chen got in contract for seven or six hundred forty nine. Excuse me. Let's see if we have KD on or if we have Bandana on. Let's see here, KD. No, and let's see Bandana. Nope, and let's see Joseph Chen. All right, cool. They are not on, so another one clap for them. Let's continue going on. Donna Chan got in contract for 668. Stephanie Palasama got in contract for 700. And Carla got into contract for 710. Once again, ladies, congratulations to you three for ending the year really, really strong. Carla, I see that you are on. Can you grab the mic? Talk to us about this strategy, what worked. Um, tell us how you met this consumer, and let's hear from you, Carla. Hi, guys. Happy New Year, first of all. Happy New Year. Um, so this escrow, it's, uh, let's say, a replacement from the previous escrow because my 
uh, previous escrow got canceled and because the escrow, I mean, the um, appraisal came lower and the sellers didn't want to negotiate. Um, and even though my clients were willing to put like 10,000 uh, out of her pocket, uh, they still didn't want to take it. Um, and my client wasn't willing to uh, to give 35K uh, uh, above uh, the appraised price. So we decided to cancel and she was about to give up. Uh, I told her not to because, well, we, this is like a good practice and uh, she's not the first person that is going to go through uh, things like this, like not getting her offer accepted or cancellations or any other, you know, things that can happen on an escrow. And I told her also also that uh, next year, I mean, this year, uh, the interest rates might be dropping and there's going to be more competition and her uh, uh, budget is gonna is not gonna be enough. So, um, so yeah. So she decided to continue, and we found this second home. That was her uh, actually her second choice, and uh, yeah, we got into contract for the same price. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> well, congratulations to you. Enjoy your walk. I know it's a little chilly this morning, but enjoy your brisk walk, and let's continue Thank cruising. You. All right, so Peter and Dewey, way to end the year strong. Ended up with uh, another deal right before the buzzer, seven hundred, excuse me, seven hundred twenty, and then Kimberly Lopez um, at seven hundred thirty-five. So Peter and Dewey, I think that I just saw you get into the office in Oakland. Does one of you guys want to grab the mic and talk to us about this final deal, two thousand twenty-three? Um, this one is it's it's a student. I my first job was a, a tutor, and this was one of my first students from. 2009, 2010, I don't even know what year that was. Um, but his family had to do, do a bank statement loan, or yeah, no state income loan to, to get into this, but it's been cool to see that experience on that side and how they legitimize money, or yeah, get them to qualify, so that's the right term. Um, but, but yeah, this, yeah, got them, did like what, two weeks of tours and got them in contract right away. And uh, originally the, Parents were working with another agent, um, but then that guy didn't know education. And so I told Vincent, the buyer, hey, let's hop on a buyer's consultation. If you you guys use us, awesome. If not, that's fine too. I'll help you, you know, make sure that you guys are getting screwed on that side. And so he liked it so much. He even brought his parents along, which I know from what I used to do to them. Went on a few tours, got them in contract. So Beautiful, my man. Well, congratulations to you. Congratulations to Peter. What an amazing year that you guys had. We won't talk too much about that yet. We'll still save that for our year in review uh, meeting, but congratulations to you guys. Job well done. Uh, heading over to Hector and Alejandra got in contract for 840,000. And Antonio, the dark knight of real estate, got in a contract for 865,000. Let's see what we have on here. Let's see if Ali's on. Let's see if Antonio's on. All right, cool. They're not on as well. Congratulations and let's move on. Eric King got in a contract for a million fifty. Congratulations to Eric, Donna, and Joey. Also got in a contract for 1.507. So love this price points. Let's see if they're on. Let's see if Donna is on. <clears throat> Donna, talk to us about this deal. And I love that you and uh, Joey have been partnering on more deals as of late. Talk to us about this deal. What was the strategy? What worked? Where was this house out? And what were you up against? Let's hear it from you. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, my camera's not available. But, um, okay. this, pro this property was, um, let's say, ending the year in contract is, is phenomenal. We are the third agent stepping in on these prop this property as a listing agent. Many challenges came up and about. Actually, um, thank you to Eric King for sharing it, showing it to his client as well, too. It's about uh, getting getting that ample exposure. We finally got into contract for this property after um, one fell out of it as well, too. So uh, trying to salvage it when we got into contract and then the buyer got cold feet finding this something and then we proactively called all the people that went through and then another agent that showed it actually said 
okay, let's hear where's there's an offer for it again. So fell out, came back in. So we're just happy and we're touch base that they're, we're going to be closing in just a, a week or so of this year. So starting off the year great with this. And so <laughs> it's been uh, a great, I love the opportunity because Joey and I have been partnering and um, I've been partnering with other agents on the team as well too, but it's just able to, Joey was actually the one that was able to connect the seller to me as well too. I met him a couple of times, but he, he was the one that was, uh, had that deep conversation with them as well too. And uh, if I don't know if you, everybody knows this, but Joey's got a background in, you know, customer service where he used to work at a really luxury, luxury hotel. Mm-hmm. So in a luxury hotels, he remembers people's names like you would not believe. It's like, those are the, the, the assets that, um, you know, when that client and the neighbors say, walk in through that door in the open house and says, oh my gosh, you remember my name. And I'm sitting there like, damn, Joey, you do remember their names. That's great. So uh, those are the opportunities we have. You can't do it by yourself. I think in 2024, it's uh, about collaborations. The only way to go in the coming year to survive in this industry as it's it's so fluid and everything is just changing day by day. And we're just um, making sure that we're ahead of, of the, um, you know, what what's in the forefront, right? Being in the forefront. This is what we did when we started in our team. And so we'll continue to to be in the forefront as well too. So um, great to close off the year and start the year off uh, strong. I love that. And, and you guys leaning into the community needs to be something that is done and on an even bigger scale in 2024. Like, you know, I, I, if you're in the office, you're going to meet friends, you're going to make partnerships, you're going to have fun with people, you're going to build bonds, you're going to do deals together. And so we've seen that and no other company does partnership deals like our company. And I, I love seeing that happen. I love seeing these bonds form. So really good stuff. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to Joey. And last but not least on the list, uh, Kaleem got in the contract to end the year strong, 2.826500. So congratulations to you, Kaleem, and to everybody that got in the contract. And, and you guys think about this deal in particular. Think about what one $2.8 million deal does for your, for your life, for the opportunities and the impact that you can make. So congratulations to Kaleem. Um, over the last couple of weeks, you guys, obviously you were busy. You finished the week strong or finished the last two weeks strong. Now, obviously we're going to get into our big, production goals for the year. We're going to get into our year in review and we're going to get into that in just a moment. But there's a lot of things for you guys to be super, super grateful for and prideful for. But I also want you guys to be very honest with yourselves, right? If you feel like you didn't show up, if you feel like you made excuses, if you dragged your feet, if you said a bunch of BS and you didn't really follow through, like get rid of all that. It's a, it's a new opportunity for you guys to really create the year that you want to. I've seen people in this business change their lives in six months and one year and so 2024 is your year to own and to do things differently. I want to send a huge congratulations out to Chris Edwards and Tyler Ma for, excuse me, Ha, for both graduating out of their advisorship program. Um, they've been working tirelessly behind the scenes and it just shows. So congratulations to you guys. I'm not too sure if, you know, what Chris is actually on. Chris, I would love to hear from you, my man. If you can share uh, a little bit about your journey. I think that your journey has been wrapped up in the word resilience and perseverance. Uh, so I'd love to hear from you, Chris, if you can grab the mic and talk to us and congratulations to you once again. Chris going once, Chris Edwards going twice. All right, cool. We're going to move on. I see him here, but his, uh, he's not able to speak for some reason. All right, guys. So looking ahead. There is a couple of huge things that are coming up in the next couple months. Um, and let's start out here. Yo, Chris. Sorry about that. I had to jump off the. The elliptical real quick. Uh, uh, yeah, man, it's been a good year, you know, um, considering where I did, where I came from my first year, no sales. Um, the second part of the year just picked up for me. Um, it's just the effort you put in. Happy New Year, everybody, by the way. Um, you just got to believe in yourself. You know, it was, it was times where our faith wavered. My faith wavered. Uh, got a couple of my boys, uh, Cortez. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who else? I'm so tired. I can't think of my name. Excuse me. Look, I love you, bro. I appreciate 
we love you too. Congratulations. Way to persevere despite. And, uh, and, you know, we've seen tremendous growth from you over the last couple of years. So great job to you. Love that. Let me get back to the screen over here. You guys, listen, if you haven't got your tickets to focus and fire, make sure to grab your tickets. The tickets are only 20 bucks. You guys, this is not a team event. This is an industry event. And to give you a quick glimpse of some of the speakers, you guys have maybe seen this. Now we do have some of our very own. Vernon's going to be on the stage. Vanessa Vo is going to be on the stage. We're both going to talk about how they crushed in their first two years in business. And then Peter's going to be on stage talking about some of his social media strategies. But we have Patty Goodspeed doing a market update. Neka Jenkins talking about team building. Brian Tran also got a confirmation from two other speakers. I'm going to drop that this week. The uh, Katie sister, excuse me, the Katie team. Ashley Jurovich, Kenny and I are going to do a fireside chat, but you guys, it's going to be a lot of fun. Last year, we had probably around 110, 120 people in the room. So it's a great opportunity, especially if you're wanting to bring someone to our environment, show them how we, you know, how we hold events, what the culture, what the energy is like. This is going to be a very, very fun event with some great speakers. And I'm very excited to kick off the year with this lineup. So if you haven't got your tickets, go ahead and hover over that. Grab your tickets, share with a friend, and let's make sure that we pack the house for our second annual Focus and Fire event. Now, this is all about you guys, and this is a team event. So mark your calendars now, you guys, for Tuesday, February 6th from 1030 to 1 o'clock. We're not going to be doing our regular meeting. This is going to be in person. It's going to be in Oakland. We're going to do our annual year in review meeting. You guys are going to receive awards, recognition. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have some music. This is going to be an opportunity for us to celebrate all of your accomplishments, talk about the big direction for where we're heading for 2024, and make sure that we come together every single year we do this. I I have so much fun. We get to have, you know, fun, take pictures. It's just a great event. So you guys, let's celebrate you, all of your accomplishments, what you guys have been able to do. And so I'll probably be reaching out to some of you to be like co-moderators, announce different people up on stage. We'll have fun like we did last year. And so save the date now, more information to come uh, in the coming weeks. But I want to make sure that everybody there is, excuse me, everyone can be there and be at this event. All right, guys, um, let's go over to Kenny, Molly, Karina, anything else before we kind of wrap for the day? No, we're good. Kenny, any sentiment, any thoughts, any words of wisdom before we begin this new year? Is that enough? Okay, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Listen, you guys, like I said, year of amplification, we are going to take things to the next level. We're going to share with you what the company goals are and all of that. But first and foremost, we want to make sure that we close out all the books. We're going to make sure to get everybody in the company at our annual review meeting. Those are so much fun. And then you guys, we're here for support. We're obviously going to do some things differently this year. We're going to do a lot more in-person trainings. We're going to do a lot more in-person prospecting inside of the offices to make sure that we're helping you guys get more appointments, helping you guys with your flow, with your appointment setting skills, and just really take things to the next level in 2024. So we're going to keep the, the center and the focus always being our community and collective wisdom, but saying, how can we do more in-person events to get you guys more excited about booking appointments and getting in front of more people? So I'm here for you guys, as always. If you need anything, let me know. We're going to kick off 2024 strong tomorrow for Keep It Moving Group Coaching. Thank you for everyone that joined for the final session. We hit about 92 people at that meeting. Thank you to all the guest speakers who really brought high levels of value for the group. So, you guys, I'm excited for 2024. If you cannot hear it and feel it in my energy, so I'm ready to take shit to the next level, and hopefully you are. So, if you need anything, please reach out. Uh, and that is it, you guys. Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Um...